How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to fix this issue. Today I'm going to show you how to clear the system data storage on your Mac. As you can see, I get here over 100 gigabytes of storage being used by system data. If we scroll down, we see it right here, system data, but we can click on it. There is no option. There's no easy way to, in theory, get rid of this, right? Well, there actually is. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how in just a couple minutes. Let's get started. Okay, so let's close this window. We don't need it right now. And then let's go for command space. Okay, command space. We're gonna open our spotlight search. Then go ahead and type in on your keyboard, shift plus this icon right here. I'm gonna have it all on the screen. So as you can see, that's the icon. If you need to, you can go ahead and press the space bar. So you get the full icon right here, the full key. And then you're gonna go for forward slash and then library, as you can see right here, that's it. You can go ahead and enter or return and then that's it that's the folder we want so you can double click on it and then we're going to open up our library folder keep in mind it has to be exactly like that because there are two different library folders on the mac so you got to go through that exact same path okay right here we're going to go ahead and click on caches and that's where the problem lives and i don't know if you know this but the system data storage on your mac consists mainly of caches and if you don't know what this is those are temporary files created by your applications and your operating system so as you use your mac normally as you use your software your apps on your day-to-day -day life it's normal that those apps will actually store a ton of files on your mac and that's where they live. The thing is, in theory, they were supposed to be deleted, removed automatically by macOS, but they don't. So they get accumulated here over time. And that's why we see those system files. So it's actually pretty easy to identify what's actually using your storage. And what you're gonna actually do is take a look at those folders. It's quite a lot, I know. So go ahead and take a look at those folders and check which one of them actually are the biggest. For a lot of people, it's actually Adobe. So if you use the Adobe suite, it's great at picking up and accumulating a ton of files and of course, filling your storage. And the easy way to check what's the folder that's doing this for you is simply clicking on it and then tapping on Command I as information. And you see it right here, in my case, it's not Adobe. I don't use Adobe at all. So that's why you just see 245. So you go ahead and Command I once again and it collapses back. If you want to do it super fast, you can actually select a bunch of folders, for example, all of those, and then Command I, and then as you can see, it's going to show everything, so you can quickly have a look, and then as you press on Command I once again, it's going to collapse one by one. You're just pressing on the I, as you can see, and then it collapses. So then as you can see, in just like a minute, you can see hundreds of folders super quick. For me, this is the villain, Cloud Kit. So you can go ahead and command I, and as you can see right here, 389 gigabytes. So it's insane. And CloudKit is pretty much everything that you have in the cloud, so documents and so on. But of course, those are just the copies that are on my Mac. All of my original files are in the cloud. So this is just taking up a ton of my storage for no reason. So the simple way to fix this, as you can see, is simply go ahead, take a look one by one, take a look at what's the villain, as I mentioned, and then go ahead and delete the folder completely. Don't worry, nothing's gonna happen to your computer. Those are not the files themselves. This is not your data, documents, and so on. This is just the temporary file. So there's no problem deleting one, two, many, or even all your folders in your cache. The only thing that will happen is the next time you open the app that you have deleted the cache folder, it's gonna take a little bit of a while to actually load for that very first time, and then that's normal. That's why I don't recommend you to delete the whole thing, just delete the actual folders that are actually taking up your storage. So 
let's go ahead here and empty our trash and delete it and of course i'm gonna show you how my storage is gonna look now all you have to do is empty my trash so double click empty trash empty trash once again and keep in mind this process may take a while depending on the folder and the amount of files and then after your trash is completely empty i always like to restart my mac when doing those changes so go ahead here click at the top left on your apple logo restart and then restart and then just let it restart and then in 30 seconds we'll be back okay so let's open up our system settings and come back to that very first same page so general and then storage and then let it load let it do its thing it's calculating sometimes it takes a while it's still working it's still doing its thing and as you can see that's our system data 26 gigabytes so we went from over a hundred gigabytes to 20. of course it won't be zero it'll never be zero and that's normal to any operating system and please keep in mind i just deleted one single folder so if i deleted a few more folders big folders the number will be lower than that but as i said it won't be zero but it's amazing how we can go from over 100 sometimes 200 300 400 depending on the amount of files you have of cache files to 20 and as you can see right here system data 26 and then that's literally it that's how you clear your system data storage on your mac in just a few easy easy steps so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one as usual guys bye bye